code for memory efficiency. 1. Avoid storing payloads in flow variables. Flow variables are a convenient way to store temporary data within a mule flow. However, storing large payloads, especially frequently accessed ones, in flow variables can consume significant memory. Instead, consider alternatives like processing data directly from the payload, use data weave transformations or other methods to manipulate the payload in place, avoiding unnecessary copies. Storing references, if you need to access a payload later in the flow, store a reference to the message instead of the entire payload in a flow variable. 2. Utilize streaming for large payloads. When dealing with very large payloads, consider using the streaming capabilities of MuleSoft 4. Streaming allows you to process the payload in chunks instead of loading it entirely into memory at once. This can significantly reduce memory usage, especially for large datasets. 3. Minimize data duplication. Avoid creating unnecessary copies of data within your mule flow. Instead, try to reuse existing data structures or objects whenever possible. This can be achieved through data weave transformations, utilize data weaves features for manipulating data efficiently without creating multiple copies. Passing references, pass references to data objects instead of copying the entire object whenever possible. 4. Tune JVM parameters. Mule applications run on the Java Virtual Machine, JVM. You can fine-tune JVM parameters like memory allocation and garbage collection to optimize memory usage for your specific application. However, adjusting these parameters requires caution and careful consideration to ensure optimal performance and stability. Consult MuleSoft documentation or seek assistance from experienced system administrators for guidance on appropriate settings. 5. Leverage Asynchronous Processing Whenever possible, consider leveraging asynchronous processing mechanisms provided by MuleSoft 4. This can help reduce memory footprint. Asynchronous flow references, calling other flows asynchronously allows the calling flow to continue processing other messages, avoiding blocking memory while the referenced flow runs. Async processing components, utilize components like VM endpoint with an asynchronous mode to send or receive messages asynchronously, freeing up memory resources. Additional considerations. Identify memory bottlenecks. Analyze your Mule application's resource utilization using tools like Mule Soft Monitoring Studio. This can help you identify specific areas where memory consumption is high and focus optimization efforts on those areas. Monitor memory usage. Continuously monitor memory usage of your Mule application in production to ensure efficient resource utilization. Test and monitor changes. Always test your changes thoroughly after implementing any optimization steps to ensure they haven't introduced unintended side effects or performance regressions. By following these strategies and carefully tailoring them to your specific application needs, you can improve the memory efficiency of your Mule Soft 4 code. Remember, the most effective approach might involve a combination of these techniques, and adapting them to your unique use case is crucial.